Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for this video. My name's Claire. Um, I have just done a really, really, really cool straight pour with five puddles with purples and the colours were just amazing. Um, with the straight pour, I mixed too much paint and I dripped a lot of paint off the edge of the canvas. So I managed to scrape a lot of paint off my worktop um, and I put it back into a pot and the colour that has resulted is absolutely stunning. Um, it's, it's a, I'll show you in a second, it's just a really beautiful purple but it's got a real sparkle to it. Um, and it's a mixture of a few a couple of different purples some pearl white um, was it some silver in it a few a few different colors and it's just gorgeous and it's a whole pot full um, so instead of just throwing it or saving it for a rainy day I'm going to use it now and one of my favorite ever color combinations is purple and green um, it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's just so bright and dramatic I absolutely love it so I'm going to do another straight pour with purple and green. So let me show you the colours. So this is the colour. Let me just try and show you. Look at that. It's just so rich and warm. Um, absolutely beautiful. So if you want to know what colour what colours made this, I will link the video for my previous pour in that. Um, and then if you watch that, all the colours are listed. So it's just basically a combination of all the colours that dripped off the canvas from the previous straight pour that I did. Um, so that's going to be the dominant colour. Um, and then you can see some lovely bright old crazy greens here. So I'm using... Um, so I've, I've added a little bit of white and uh, Amsterdam white and a little bit of Amsterdam ultramarine violet here um, to create this lighter purple. I'm using Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Green Yellow. Um, I just fancied throwing in a little bit of fluorescent green. So this is De La Rowney System 3 Acrylic Fluorescent Green. It's so rare I get to use this colour. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to add it some Pebio silver and some De La Rowney pearl white. Um, so these colors um, are really, really risky because if you mix green and purple, you get brown. So there's a huge chance that this painting will not work, that I'll just get brown. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm daring. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. So all the paints I've mixed with my own homemade pouring medium, which is mixed with P PVA glue. This is the PVA glue that I use. Um, it's from Screwfix in the UK. And I mix it two parts PVA glue to one part water. And I mix it here. This is It's here in my squash bottle. And then I've mixed my paints, one part, PV, uh, one part pouring medium to one part paint. And then I've had to thin them down um, because they've still been a bit thick. The iridescent ones here were just a bit thick. Um, so that they're all now about the same consistency. So I'm going to layer up three little plastic cups. Um, I'm going to go in this order. So I split up the greens, I split up the purples and I split up the neutral colour, the white and the silver. Um, I'm going to start with the bright green. I just fancy seeing a bright, bright splash of green right in the centre of each of each of the three puddles. So let's just pour some bright green in the bottom. I've only ever used this fluorescent green once or twice and it's just amazing colour, but you have to get the right painting for it. Right, some of the purple. So the paint ratio I use, the paint consistency, is really nice and thick. So as I'm pouring these colours in the cups, they're not sinking, they are just sitting on the surface. Right, some pearl white. And I've tried to keep the paints on the slightly thicker side because I don't want brown. I might get it, in which case the painting will get scraped, but let's try it. Right, the iridescent green yellow. These are really thick. They might be too thick, actually. The problem with making it too thick is it won't pour nicely out of the cup. So it will keep the colours more separate but it won't necessarily pour properly, so we'll see.
my canvas is a 30 by 40 centimeter so I'm going to so I've got three cups I'm going to do one in the center and then obviously one either side I'm not going to put a puddle down this time first because the one one not a downside necessarily but one thing to consider when you put a puddle down and cover the the base and then you pour these cups on top where the cup where the the, the cups meet you get a strip of the base color um, and that can look really nice but you might not want it so I'm going to go I'm going to go without it so um, let's pour this out I'm going to be twisting my hand quite a lot um, and varying the speed at which this paint comes out I'm going to be going I'm going up and down and twisting and then hopefully we'll get another color coming through in a minute there we go And then I put the green in first to get the green in last, but I'm happy because this paint is so thick, I'm really gonna have to be patient and stay like this for a minute or so to let that last bit of paint drain out because that's got the green in, it's coming through now, the fluorescent green, there it is. Just mixed up a bit of extra white and I'm now just going to pour that around the edge of this so that as I tilt these canvases the paint's got something to push against and it will just help it to flow I'm just going to spread that out a bit Right, let's start tilting this around. So my plan is just to stretch it as much as I can to start with before I go over the edge. Right, and then I think there's a lot of paint, so I'm I'm happy to lose quite a lot of this paint. So um, I'm just going to start tilting over the edges now. And this is when you'll see this all opening up now. Suddenly the green is making its appearance. Look at that, that green has really come out there in the centre. Couldn't see that to start with.
I've actually managed to do it. I have got green and purple side by side and there just isn't any brown. There's hints of what almost looks like yellow here. Um, but I think that's just the diluted green. The, there's obviously the greenish yellow. Uh, maybe that's as that's diluted with the white, it's given that effect. But look at that, purple and green side by side. So pleased managed, I've managed to do it. Um, if you look closely, look at the cells and the lines, the patterns. Yeah, it looks quite yellow there. I think it's just the greenish yellow um, that has mixed maybe with the white that's giving that effect. Look at all these just irregular patterns. I love straight pores because you never quite know what you're going to get. You get these all sorts of, that look a bit like cloud, all sorts of weird and wonderful patterns. A uh, little hint of green up there. And the same, so that looks gold there. There definitely isn't any gold in this. Um, my, I think my favourite bit about this painting is the fact that you've got these really dark purple lines through the middle and I think in terms of composition that really really um, makes the painting for me, I'm really pleased with that. Um, the other thing to say, when I first pulled the three cups out it was overpoweringly dark purple and my heart sunk because I thought oh I've just created just a dark purple painting and that's not what I wanted, I wanted to see the other colours. So. Interestingly, it's the light purple, which I think is dominant, maybe because the dark and the white have mixed together to make a lighter purple. Um, but that ultramarine violet by Amsterdam, which you can see here, I think that's the dominant colour. Great. So I will be back once it's dry. So here's the dry result. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it, but I have added to it. So it dried and I couldn't see really much of this green at all. It was there, but it was so subtle. So what I've done with a paintbrush, I have just painted over wherever there was just a hint of that iridescent green yellow. Um, I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more. Um, so you can see there, there's some lines. I haven't added green yellow to anywhere that it wasn't already, but I've just gone over the very, very faint hints of it just to make it stand out slightly. Um, otherwise it ended up just really just looking like a purple painting as opposed to a purple and green painting. Um, there's not that much of this really nice dark green. There's a little bit around here. There's some there. There's a nice big section there and there's little hints of it through here, through there. So I guess I'm a little bit disappointed that that green doesn't stand out more, but it, I, I'm really pleased with it. The lines are amazing. If you, if you go looking really close, just look at all the, oops, sorry, all the lines. Really, really pretty. So overall, really happy with this. And I love getting a paintbrush out and adding to paintings. Um, I just really, really enjoy it. Some gorgeous cells there and little irregular, irregular splodges. Really pleased with it. Let me know what you think. Please leave comments. Um, let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't like it. If you do like it, do give it a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button, the like button. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.